Oh, Hickey. So I was obviously coming to a uh, end before soon. Well, not before soon, but you know, an ending is sort of in sight, and I just want to sort of give a prediction of what I think is actually um, going to happen now during this DLC and uh, you know what's going to happen in the upcoming DLCs which are either coming out this year or next year by rumour. Um, so obviously we have this whole malarkey about the Eye of Ashara thing where Blizzard uh, apparently have uh, trademarked the name I have a Shara, which a lot of people were questioning if it was the name of the new DLC, but that was really quickly brushed away by uh, a lot of the members of Blizzard saying that it has nothing to do with it and they will um, basically go into detail about what it means later on into the year. And uh, it sort of opened up a lot of theories of how this DLC is going to end at the moment. So, um, Obviously, this is gameplay from the Burning Crusade, uh, but there's a reason I have Burning Crusade gameplay over any other, because this is how I sort of think uh, it's going to go. So, basically, I think the next part, uh, 6.2, obviously 6.1 is going to be involving um, Black Rock, Black Hand himself, and uh, I think the one after that is actually going to be based on the sort of... Kill Rock sort of place, you know, I think we're going to get to Narn finally in 6.2, we're going to go in there, we're going to have to fight Kill Rock, and that's going to be that. Then I think something is going to happen in 6.3 that's going to be completely irrelevant to the actual Warlords themselves. I don't think we're going to fight a Warlord in 6.3, I think something else is going to happen, which you never know. I think maybe something along the lines of Illidan might happen or so forth and uh, we're gonna have to deal with that and I th honestly think that this is what I hope is going to happen this I really hope this happens now I honestly hope that the final boss of this DLC is Gromash but I honestly hope that you don't kill Gul'dan and why is that well at the moment Gul'dan seems to the most likely to be the one to summon the uh, the Burning Legion to Azeroth and I honestly think that this DLC is going to involve Gul'dan somehow getting through the portal getting to our world and the ending is going to be that he goes to the tomb of Sargar Sargeras and he's going to um, sort of manage to get Sargeras open a portal for him to return to Azeroth but I think it's going to take a while for Sargeras to actually get through so what's going to happen in the meantime is you're going to return to Azeroth potentially and um, basically everything's gone to shit. Uh, Lady Ajara's returned and the next DLC will be based around Lady Ajara. Now I'm not going into detail much about you know background stories because, because this theory probably has a lot of plot holes in it because I, I, I do know a bit about the law, it's just my take on it from uh, sort of a noob at the law basically, a noob alore. Um it's basically my sort of take on this and uh, what I hope happens if you don't think it's right um, then just tell me but what I honestly think is going to happen is you're going to return to Azeroth basically everything has gone to shit as I said Lady Aljara is attacking with the Naga she will be the final boss of that DLC and it's going to be a very heavy sort of water based DLC obviously because of the Naga and you're going to finally go to the Seven Islands so it's going to be very heavy based around the trolls as well hopefully and uh, you get to fight their leader uh, that would be really cool to be fair and um, the final DLC or one of the last DLCs it could be that the Burning Legion finally return and you have to battle Burning Legion so you bite uh, fight um, kill Jaden in his proper form. You might have to fight uh, Archimonde somehow. Uh, I know he's dead. He should be dead anyway. It's just the fact that you might have to fight him again. And um, you have to obviously finally come to the conclusion of fighting kill J um, kill Jaden Sargeras himself. And um, what I think also is going to happen is just I think that. A lot of characters will be killed off in the next couple of DLCs, so Thrall, for instance, I think is going to be killed off. I think a few others will be killed off. I think a lot of um, characters are also going to come into the limelight, such as 
uh, Anduin, who's obviously a really, really important character. And we already know that Raffian has um, sort of predicted that he is going to be a leader uh, of both sides into this war against Sarkar. So I think he's going to be really important in the upcoming DLCs. And he's already got a really important role in uh, what we saw in Pandaria. Uh, he's sort of not as Im big in this one, but he will be soon. Um, I honestly, again, I honestly think that um, people like Rathian obviously are going to have a massive role in this because he's the one who predicted the Burning Legion coming back. So I think he's going to sort of have a massive impact, all these characters. But the one that I honestly, and I've just mentioned it, that I think I'm going to stand by the most is that Thrall will die in the last DLC, if not the one before. I don't, I cannot see him last night. I think that's how they would end the Warcraft. Um, World of Warcraft series as it is. Not the Warcraft series, honestly, there's so much more they can do with that. It's just that I honestly think they will end the Warcraft series, uh, World of Warcraft, sorry, with um, Thrall himself dying. Uh, I would like it that way because it wraps up the ending. It wouldn't make me question oh, what happened afterwards. Obviously, if they brought up Warcraft games and it does continue the story on, that's brilliant, but it's just. That's the ending I would be really happy with if they kill off Thrall in a not so stupid way, in a way where he sort of sacrifices himself, uh, maybe to fight Sargeras, maybe to um, save somebody like Agro or somebody. It's just that I honestly hope that my prediction could be right. Uh, if you disagree, tell me. Um, obviously, these kind of videos don't get a lot of positive feedback, but if you would could you um thumbs up obviously and uh if you want to see more of this content subscribe and i'll know if you uh like this stuff uh leave your theories in the comment section if you want I, I'd, I'd be willing to read all of them so yeah ta -ra.